I've been wanting to do this video for a while and show you some of the basics in my closet that have tremendously helped me get dressed, whether I have five minutes or you know all the time in the world. They help me put so many outfits together. I wear these on repeat. I've already washed them and dried them and everything else, and they've very much hung, held up. So I will link everything that I'm wearing in the description box if it is still available, or I'll link something similar. But I want you to take this video as just assessing your own closet and see if there's anything I mentioned that you're like, I don't have that and I can't put outfits together, maybe it's that. And just think about it for a little while. See if that's the thing that you need to put together outfits that make you feel like you could get dressed in one minute if you had to. So this top is, I say a top, but it's several tops that I wear, oh my goodness, so many times, like all the time. I just constantly grab this more so than white. And it's these taupe, caramel, like soft brown colored shirts and sweaters. I have this one by Alice and Olivia I found on an incredibly amazing sale. I'm not even gonna tell you how much I'm on sale because you're not gonna like me when I tell you. But anyway, I wear that thing all the time. It's cashmere. If I were to ever do a video like, you know, 30 things I learned when I was in my 30s, one of them was that cashmere is so worth it. I just, I, gosh, it just feels so amazing, especially in the, the winter time when I wanna be warm and cozy, but I got work to do or I need to go somewhere. I mean, I wanna be cool and comfortable, but put together, oh my gosh, cashmere is all the way. But I love these tops that are in this color. They just, they go so well with regular jeans. They go so well with my faded black denim. They go amazingly with beige. I have all kinds of tones in these colors. Some are more taupe than they are caramel or brown. They work so well with almost all of my bottoms. In previous years, I would always go for my white knit top tops and I've just noticed that more times than not like nine times out of ten I'm going for this taupe caramel or you know soft brown color than I am for white it's just that what's happening this year it doesn't mean that I'm gonna give away all my white tops or anything like that but it's just kind of where my head's at but they really have made me feel like I look like a cute polished outfit without really trying too hard so I'd like to tell you about our sponsor which is ritual vitamins I have been using ritual for years now. I started using them when I was pregnant with my second child because I just really felt like uncomfortable with all of the multivitamins out there, or the uh, prenatal vitamins. After I had my second child, I started taking the Ritual postnatal vitamins, and then I moved on to the Ritual multivitamin, and I also take their Ritual probiotic. I've just, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. I'm like, I finally found the company that I can trust. All of their ingredients are backed by the first visible supply chain of its kind, so you know where the labeled ingredients come from and why they're there. They have a delayed release capsule, so you know, it, it goes into your body over time. I always take mine at night after dinner. They ship these to your door on auto ship, so you don't even have to think about it. They also have this little mint that they put inside each bottle, so you get this like minty freshness, and you can feel confident that what you're putting into your body is what you need. I've been trusting Ritual for years with my vitamin needs and to fill the gaps in my diet, so I highly suggest trying them out if you haven't. I do have a 20% discount code on your first month. I will link everything you need in the description box below, and let's continue. I know that this is on everybody's list um, when it comes to wardrobe basics that, you know, are a very back, good, big backbone of their closet and their wardrobe, but I have to mention it because they really are, and it's these basic t-shirts. Now, I have been dipped through all kinds of trial and error with basic t-shirts, and the ones I thought I loved, um, like over the summer, when, once it came winter, I didn't like those. I want like a heavier weight. I want something that's more cotton. I've really been loving crew neck. I didn't get rid of my v-necks or the lightweight ones. I just put them away because eventually I'll be like, you know what, I want lightweight and v-neck. But basic t-shirts, wowzers. Why did I say wowzers? That sounds so, <laughs> such a nerd. Um, <laughs> golly gee willikers. Um, <laughs> they're really like, I just, I can't live without them, okay? I can live without a lot of things, but I can't live without my basic tees. I'm in a point in my life where I need to be comfortable, functional, but I also wanna look put together, and these do the job for sure. Now, it's not just white that I have that I wear all the time. In fact, I probably wear my gray one and now that I have this purple one, a lot more than I wear my white one even. Maybe not a lot more, but just a lot. Because they also go with all my jeans that I love very, very well. I would like to have a chocolate brown short sleeve um, shirt like this too, which I'm going to find because I just, I don't think I could ever not wear these enough. Now the ones that I have, there's two from Abercrombie. They're in a two pack. They are the best ones I've ever had in terms of like a heavyweight, like, um, 
crew neck shirt. They're long enough to tuck in. I have washed them and dried them a million times. I've gotten stains on them. I've gotten the stains out of them. I really have nothing bad to say about them and they were on a very big sale whenever I bought them. They were a great find. This one is actually from Cezanne. I randomly ordered this because I just love the color and I'm like, I could use like a purple color as a t-shirt in my closet and I'm very glad I did. Now here's my thoughts on t-shirts real quick. Yes, you can go to Walmart and probably buy a three pack for $10. I've already been down that road. And what ends up happening is I wash them a couple times. I dry them because I, for these kind of things, I want to be able to wash it, dry it, wear it again if I've like have stains on it, but they just stretch out very fast. The quality is kind of thin. They just, I just end up not liking them. It's, it's like a waste of $10. Whereas this one I think was like $45 or something. But how many times have I worn this? The cost per wear is so low that, I mean, it's gonna end up being like a pennies, maybe a penny after I wear it for the length of its life, which will probably be a very long time. So those are my thoughts on those kind of things. Speaking of cashmere, I've mentioned this in another video, but I gotta mention it again because it really is a top that just, it just, it just does it for me. I need to get out more, but this one, it really does, okay? It's the black cashmere long sleeve shirt from Lily Silk. and. If you've ever compared Lily Silk to other places, they're a lot less expensive. This is not even a Lily Silk ad or sponsorship or anything. I do work with them sometimes. But anyway, that black one, the cashmere one, I wear it all year long. Um, even in the summer, I'll just push up the sleeves. It's very breathable and lightweight, but it just goes with everything again. And I've been loving black with my light washed denim. So I wear that or I wear it with like some brown boots. Um, it's just been a very, easy top to go to, you know, easy if I need to throw something on, still look put together. I pretty much always tuck it in. I like the way it looks tucked in, but you could definitely do like a front tuck here if you didn't like that. Here's a fun fact about this item. It's not a white button down. I know that white button downs are on every list like this, and they will be probably on my list next year or something. But I've just noticed the last several months, I have not been gravitating towards my white button down nearly as much as I used to. But I've just really been loving these colorful button downs that I have. And it's just something about the colors, even the navy, um, have just really been really speaking to me a lot more this winter. And I have a feeling on into spring, I will probably like these colors more than white. I'm sure I'll go back to white at some point. I'll be tired of color, I want white. But if you often go towards the white button down jeans, you know, your loafers or something, and you're just like, ah, I'm kind of tired of this. It might be that you just simply need something with a little bit of color, even if it was like this, car the caramel brown color. I did find these two from H&M that are in these colors that are really great quality. I was very impressed. Um, I will link those below. Surely they're still available. And I'll link some others as well. I guess I can't do a video like this without mentioning the shoes that have helped me pull my outfits together. And I very much feel like if you have, if you can find, a pair of shoes that's comfortable, that looks good, you know, works with a lot of your outfits. It's like a gold mine, especially because I ruined my feet. I have a bunion on one foot. So the shoes I've been wearing, um, one of the main ones I've been wearing that always elevates my outfit. And I used to wear my black loafers in this place, but now I'm just like black loafers. You gotta take a back burner. It's these black pointy toe flats. I've talked about them in several videos. They are actually comfortable. I have ran around all day walking around in them. They were fine. So I add those to an outfit that needs to look a little elevated. It always makes it look a little elevated. A pointy toe always does that and they're comfortable. So it's is a win for me. The other shoe that I wear that I've worn on the airplane, I wear when I'm being really casual are these black Adidas. My husband was like, ooh, old school. <laughs> but I really felt like I needed some black um, tennis shoes and I just kept seeing them around people and I was like, I really like that look. So I finally got me a pair. I love these. I've been wearing those way more than my white sneakers and maybe come spring I'll wear my white ones more, but probably not. I'll probably still wear these black ones. Now I'm going to do a whole video on the things I'm going to wear for spring because I've already got some shoes for spring that I'm so excited to wear. They're comfortable. They're cute. They fit all, they check all the boxes, but one of them I've even been wearing this winter because I live in Florida and sometimes it's like, dreadfully cold in the morning, but then it warms up to like 70 in the afternoon. But the shoes I've been wearing that have just, I love them. I cannot wait to wear them in spring and summer, but there's these black large buckle sandals from Steve Madden and they are so cute. I just love them so much. They're comfortable. They just go with things. They just give a different look than my nude sandal. They really give a more interesting um, fashion forward look. I feel like to my outfit, they never seem to film well. Like whenever I'm in flat shoes, 
I feel like I look kind of squatty or something, but they really do look good in person. And so do the pointy toe shoes. They really look amazing. I've mentioned belts in so many videos. I'll just be really, really quick with this, but it is something that I, it pulls together so many of my outfits. I don't always want a belt. I actually, sometimes I really love like just this, like jewelry um, and no belt. And it's just, you know, that's where my head's at. That's what I like. But if I want something a little more put together, I will add a belt. And it's, I love this black belt that I found. It's more traditional looking. It's, it will never go out of style. And, um, but my bird belt, <laughs> my bird belt that you guys have seen, seen a million times, it is, you know, it just pulls an outfit together so easily. Belts are definitely one of those things that if you were to splurge on it and really find one that's leather, a classic style, one that looks amazing, you're not gonna regret it. You're gonna keep it for the rest of your life. A really nice, good looking belt can elevate your outfit so much. And one that doesn't look nice or it looks very cheap or fake or something, it can detract from a very expensive looking outfit. I get a lot of comments from you guys. Like, can I do a bra video? What are the best bras for a larger chest? I have a 34D. Bras, I've always wanted to do one. Like, what are some great bras if you have a larger cup? And I just don't have an answer for you. I feel like all of them feel like a harness. The best one that I have found is by the brand Cup, C-U-U-P. I will link it below. Um, but they don't have any with enough padding. So if you wear them, you might be like, hey, um, don't know if you want that, but they do fit the best I have ever seen. And the other one, because I, when I was pregnant with my second child, I just only wanted to wear bralettes and I still only want to wear bralettes. So I found one, it's from Ebby. It's the Sofia Vergara underwear line, seamless underwear. It's a great company, um, but they now have one that's like a cross between a bralette and a bra. So it's supportive like a bra, but it feels like a bralette. You put it on like a bralette. And that's what I've been wearing. I just like wear it, wear it until it's really dirty, wash it, repeat. I do have a discount code that they have given me to Ebby. So I'll link all that below in the description box. This is a basics video, but there are two tops that are pretty basic that I have also been wearing a lot. Um, it's been, they've been becoming my go-to tops. And so I'll just mention them really quick, but one of them is this green cashmere short sleeve sweater top. Again, our weather is super funky and it works very well for this weather. I'll throw it on with a pair of jeans, maybe my pointy toe flats, maybe my nude sandals, but I just love, I love the color. I love the comfort of it. It just really works for my life right now. It also comes in several colors. It comes in like, you know, more neutral colors as well. And like comes in like blue and stuff, but I just love the green. And then the other top, I just got recently, but I'm already grabbing it a lot and I love the color. So I know it's just gonna be one of my go-tos on into spring, but it's this chocolate brown top from Lulu's. It was like $28 and I just love the cut. I love the style of this shirt. It's very easy. Um, so that's definitely been one of my items that I will throw on with a pair of jeans and be able to run out the door and still look pretty presentable. So I hope you got some at least one idea out of this video and you are maybe thinking about something that you might need to pull all of your other clothes together. I do have another video that is along these same lines. I'll put it right here. But thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Please let me know what you think about anything um, or any questions you have and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing if you have not already and I will see you next time.